what's going on you guys welcome back to the farm we are at the co-op here in nebraska we got a nice co-op set up here i'm going to take you guys around to check it out real quick and we have to get some equipment uh brought here so that's what we're going to be doing today but the entrance way is actually a double entrance right down here this open pit or this open slab is not for a building that's going to be for uh for putting you know, various pellet pallets and uh tractors whatever we need to set outside uh equipment maybe augers uh self-serve feeders things like that then down here we've got the fuel and the def those need to get filled up i need to get an order in to fill those up we got a uh shed right here for equipment or maybe for uh for pallets of, of seed and stuff like that that's probably what that would be for then we've got one of the main shops here this is going to be for more uh smaller stuff like the trucks and things like that got a bunch of silos over here moving on oh by the way this is the co-op truck it's a chevy very nice very nice co-op truck got the giant grain bin set up there of course moving this way got a seed silo on this side back here just a bunch of really old run down stuff used stuff that we don't really use anymore that's what all this back here is for. It's overflow, really is all it is. Overflow storage for stuff. Um, we also have fertilizer that uh, you can buy right back here. And then moving across over to here, we have probably the main shed for equipment and uh, things along that nature. Power washer sitting there as well. Everything really, really cool. Really nice location for this co-op. I really like it so far. I really like how it's turned out. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this thing evolve. The location is great. It's right here in town. I, I think it's like the best place. It's right next to Tractor Supply too. So it's like a one-stop shop for anyone that... Oh, I need to stop at Tractor Supply. Oh, might as well stop at the co-op too kind of thing, right? But anyways, we're going to get into the old Chevy or new Chevy here. And I, I call everything old. I don't know why. We're going to get in the Chevy. And we're going to head over uh, where I've, I had put in some orders for equipment. We're going to get that stuff picked up and brought over here to the uh, to our new co-op. I'm really liking this co-op, by the way, guys. If you like the co-op design, let me know what you think down below. And uh, we're going to go get that equipment picked up and moved over here to the, the co-op now. One thing to note, uh, I know what you're thinking, like, oh, the frame rate is already horrible. We're in town here. The frame rate is not the best in town uh for some reason when you get out of the town you i get 140 to 200 frames per second it's just when i when you get in these clustered areas on this map like this it um your frame rate does appear to drop so it's not like it's going to be like this all the time it's just because we're in town here once we get out to like our farm and, and are out in the fields we're well over 60 fps but anyways we're headed down to the oh man i pulled out in front of that prius a little bit we're heading down to the co-op now and uh we'll pick up what we bought boy there is a whole lot of nothing out here isn't it so flat but we're showing up at the uh shop now and i heard a little birdie told me that there's a john deere dealership coming into the area i guess it's going to be going under construction here pretty soon so that's exciting uh we'll be able to get some john deere equipment from an official john deere dealer that's going to be really cool. But we're going to pull the truck off over here out of the way. Right there we'll do. Let's go and shut that off. Let's take a look at what we bought. So we've got a John Deere sprayer here with a uh, sprayer uh, back end attached on to it. It's got all duels. Really nice. We also have another John Deere, but this one's a spreader with no duels. So we're rocking two John Deere sprayer spreader set up here. We got an old Mac with a grain cart, and guess what? We got another old Mac with a grain cart. A lot of really cool stuff for the co-op so far. These are the uh, only things that we've bought so far for the co-op, but we will be buying more here uh, pretty soon, hopefully. We'll see how things go. But first, we're going to get this sprayer down the road, then we'll come back, get the next one and the trucks, and, uh, and then I think we might uh, open up for business today. I think that's going to be our goal, but we got to get this stuff down to the co-op so let's hop up inside check it out got that new tractor smell it's fired up runs like a butte go ahead and uh, turn on them flashers and the hazards perfect this thing is a little wide but it is going to go down the road really nice for us and it's going to work amazing in the fields the dual uh the dual tires on this one really will help for uh compaction 
problems that we might run into in fields out here. I think it's, I think getting the duels on it, you know, it was an expensive option, but I think in the long run, it's going to be one that was well worth it. Let's check traffic before we fully pull out onto the road. Not hit their mailbox. Again, the game's not cooperating with me right now. There we go. We're rolling down the road. Let's get over to the co-op. Well, this thing is really wide. Holy cow. Look at this. Look how wide this is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to, like, get into the other field whenever a car comes, which there is one coming right now. Uh-oh. All right. We're, we met him at a no sign section again. That's the best place to meet him. we got to get way over here. There we go. They passed. No problem. It's a little dangerous driving this thing down these roads, I guess. But when you got to get down the road, you got to get down the road. Am I right? Also interesting to note, our co-op has always been built next to a train track. Although this time we're next to an actual station, which is really, really cool. And this one's got a double entrance, which is super cool. And that's, that is another company, the Tri-County Fertilizer uh, Sales. They were the company that was here originally. We bought them out. Um, we might get that sign replaced at some point. It's going to cost us some money. We do have a billboard set up on the south side of town, which I'll show you all here in a little bit. But we're going to get this uh, this first sprayer put away. I think it's going to go... I should park it out front to advertise that we're here and we're open now. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to park this first sprayer right out front. We're going to unfold it and everything. Do a little advertising that the co-op is open. What do you think? Let's just uh, pull it right up here like this. Perfect. Go ahead and fold that out. Back up. back this thing up enough so where it's not in the way of anything yeah i like that all right shut this down let's step out very cool nice just little kind of advertisement people drive down the road they look at that and they're like oh there's a sprayer there i wonder what's going on here <laughs> either way uh we got to bum a ride uh with somebody and head back up to the Head back up to the uh, shop. So I'm going to wave down and see if I can bum a ride from someone. But perhaps. I don't know. We'll find out. Surely there's someone. Uh, Maybe not. Nebraska's looking a little dull for traffic today. Well, we'll get a ride when we can. All right. Well, we got a ride uh, from uh, some really nice person. that just happened to be going through the town. They saw me standing there like, hey, what you need, bud? And I was like, I just need a ride to the co-op. Or not the co-op, the, the case dealership. And they're like, oh, all right, I'm headed that direction. I'll take you that way. So that was really nice of them. But we're going to take the other sprayer. Yeah, we're going to take the spreader now, and then we'll come back for the uh, semis here in a second. All right, just rolled over the train tracks. It's a little too fast, naturally. And we're actually going to put this sprayer. Oh, I could park it out front, too. Oh, I could. I thought about just putting this one away. But I could park this one right up next to the road, too. What do you think? Could we put this one here? Hmm. Maybe we put it right up here next to the road. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. What do we do? Let's... Let's put this one right here. We're just going to be doing some advertising that we're open. That's all this is for right now. Eventually, they'll be put under under shed. Like, tonight, they'll be put away. But for now, I'm just trying to stick stuff out here next to the road to, to kind of spur people into realizing that the co-op is open. That's all that this is for. Yeah, we'll park that one right there. Perfect, dude. They're going to be driving down the road, look at this, and be like, oh, is this a dealership? No, it's a co-op. <laughs> okay, time to bomb another ride back to the shop. All right, we bummed another ride back up here, and we're going to take the old Red Mac down and park that one at the co-op. We're not going to park this one out on the road. We're going to put this one away, actually, but then we'll come back and uh, we'll get the the white uh, Mac. Then we'll come back and get our truck, and all the, all the co-op stuff for now will be moved into the co-op. We will be getting more equipment and stuff down the road, but I, I can't spend too much right away, you know what I mean? You gotta kind of ration it out. You gotta ration your expenses out. You gotta get some income before we can spend even more money. This interior is really nice. Let's roll. 
And taking the right turn back to the co-op. Classic turn. There we go. Cleared that just fine. And right down here is the drive to the co-op. Nice town through here. Gotten to know it pretty well. Haven't really explored off to the left a whole lot. Need to go do that. We also have another location, by the way, guys. I need to show you that. I need to show you guys the other location um, we do offer in Hydra's services. Um, so I'll check. I'll, I'll show you guys that here in just a second. It's at a different facility than this one right here. It's uh, down the road just a little ways. It's not that far. You can actually maybe even see it from here. But yeah, it's, uh, it's just a little ways. So I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. But we're going to put the trucks away. And I don't know if I have a good shed for the trucks yet. I might put them back there. Um, where do I want to put the trucks right now? I think I might just park them outside here for now. Just because I don't know where I want to put them. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking about calling a company to come out and uh, plant some trees around here for us. I think some trees would be really nice in this this area. We'll, fire, uh, we'll shut off the truck. There we go. That one's parked. We'll go get the next one. But yeah, I think some trees out here a little bit would be really nice. So uh, I'll see what that's going to cost us. And then we'll, we'll see about doing that. We also have lights. All these uh, lights. Now, I don't like where these ones are put. So I might try and see if I can get a company to come out, tear them out, and uh, put them on the outside. I think they'll do better on the outside. But, you know, maybe, maybe in time. I guess it depends on if it ends up being an issue for the trucks or not. It shouldn't. It shouldn't really be a problem. But if it is, we'll get them moved. Either way, let's go and get the next truck down here. All right, we got a ride back down here. We're going to fire this truck up. You guys get the drill at this point. We're going to drive down to the co-op. And uh, then after that, we've got some actual work to get done. And we're going to work on that a bit uh, before the before lunch. Hopefully, if we can get it before lunch, that'd be great. Because I would like to go and eat lunch at a reasonable time. But... You know, duty calls sometimes. You got to get the work done first. All right. We just showed back up to the co-op. We're going to pull this truck right up here behind the other one. Park it. Because I don't know where to put them quite yet. So we're just going to kind of be parking them right here for now. That'll be right there. Park and brake. Shut her down. Look at that. That is our grain hauling rig right here. We need to get a sprayer trailer too, but uh, I haven't found one around for sale, so I'll have to keep my eye out. But that is, uh, that's all the equipment moved now. Let's go back and get our truck, and then uh, we'll do a little bit more work around here. All right, we're back up at our truck here at the shop. We're going to head back down to the co-op, and I got a call from Clutch. Clutch saying that he, uh, he needs some lime, I think is what he needs and i'm gonna see if maybe i can upsell him and uh have him i have him let me go out and lime his field for him we'll see maybe maybe he's already got a, a sprayer and if that's or spreader if that's the case then uh, i guess i'll just sell him some lime but i'd like to do it myself because i can make even more money but we'll see what happens jeez i'm meeting austin everywhere man meeting austin everywhere i passed him uh, earlier today too all right rolling back up to the co-op just driving through town there, I realized I haven't explored it enough, and uh, we need to do that. Oh, you know what? Before we pull off here and we do some work, I've got a little bit of time before Flood said he was going to show up. So I'm going to show you guys the Anhydrous uh, station that we have. It's separate from the actual co-op station because Anhydrous is uh, dangerous. Uh, it is dangerous, and uh, you have to be licensed to be able to handle it and all kinds of stuff. So we'd like to keep it off-site just uh for safety's sake and everything it is all uh, you know in a locked up facility because people like to steal it as well but we're gonna head down there and i'll show you where that is it's just down this road a little ways not too far really um there's another like that that grain setup there that sell point uh we do not own that's a competition that's uh one of our uh competitors so hopefully we'll be able to outsell them doing like literally right across the, the tracks from them but we'll see in fact i could build that's my farm right over there i could build my own private drive to the co-op if i wanted to maybe maybe someday but yeah this is the anhydrous facility right here on this gravel road i'll pull in and as you can see we've got the anhydrous filling point got some anhydrous tanks out here um, we have some more coming in 
We have some an actual anhydrous uh, application uh, tool coming in as well. Some cool stuff that uh, I have on order, just have not uh, received yet from the manufacturer. They have to uh, ship them out here. We have a actual kind of uh, grain location here with a scale, which is really cool. That's really useful. If we need to, we can uh, come over here. It's not, it's not, it's not grain, but you get what I'm saying. It, we got a scale here, so we can weigh stuff here if we need. So that's really useful. We got some more bins right back here. These ones I don't think are really used anymore, uh, but they're here. And then you roll around this way, and you've got the building, the front building, right over here. So yeah, that's the anhydrous facility, and that's gonna, I think, gonna be a really nice uh, addition to our co-op here in Nebraska. But let's get rolled back over to the actual co-op, which is just literally right down there. Like, you can see it. It's so close. You can see it. Anybody coming? Nope, we're good. Get over across the train tracks back to the co-op, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll wait around for Clutch to show up. That's an old building right over there. I wonder if that's used for anything. I wonder if we could buy them out and uh, and tear that down or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I I, I doubt it. Well, it's a little ambitious right now. We need uh, we need business to be going uh, here before we can expand into a, a venue like that. But this place is already really nice. Austin's here actually. Let's see what he's up to. Don't know what he's doing. He must be checking out my co-op or something here we'll we'll sneak up on him and surprise him hey austin what you doing hey uh i just came by to see if you were here and you weren't and you just pulled up so oh yeah sorry <laughs> i, I um your office i was i had to run down and check on the anhydrous facility real quick ah uh, gotcha gotcha yeah um so you guys sell bins correct uh yeah yeah we uh we have a um a manufacturer we're contracted through as a dealer so yeah we we do sell bins here. All right, uh, you got any you got anything that I might might like? Well, what are you looking for? Let me step behind Ooh, my desk here. I, I am looking for a hopper bottom. Hopper bottom bin, okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. Check the catalogs. Uh, it looks like we've got the Meridian brand. You ever heard of them? Yep, I've heard of them. Yeah, it's got a, like a built-in auger into it. Uh, we, you know what? We actually have one here on the co-op if you want to take a look at it. It's not for oh, sale, okay. but yeah, we, sure. we use it for our facilities. I can give you it as an example. All right. Um, so if I bought one of these bins, would I have to head all the way to the factory to like pick one up? No, no. You'll be able to pick it up here. Um, we just have to get it sent here from the, uh, from the manufacturer is all. Okay, so I have a trailer... And okay. I, I'm wondering, would it be cheaper for me to actually transport it myself? Um, probably, yeah. Uh, ultimately, you're not going to get charged for them transporting it here to our location since we're the dealer and they, they have to provide it to us. It's in the contract and everything. Um, but it is going to be, you're not going to have to hire someone to, to, to haul it if you haul it yourself. Okay, yeah, I might have to get a... A different trailer because i think the one that i have won't work but uh it's definitely a viable option yeah yeah I, I would recommend if you can haul it yourself that's that's the better option but yeah this is the bin um you can, you can see it's pretty quality you got the the looking uh kind of window right there the built-in auger yep. system uh it's got this a dry it's got a, a dryer in it yep yeah, yeah this this auger here is uh designed to be easily replaced if needed all you have to do is open up the top you pull out the auger it, it uh, detaches from the uh from the uh, engagement sprocket right down here where the motor attaches gotcha. and everything really easy um it's actually in two sections so it'll, it'll actually split right here in the middle you can kind of see that oh. right there yeah uh so yeah it, it's really easy to service the actual auger itself um can last quite a while but they once you do have to replace it it is a little bit expensive um it's it's about 12 to 15 grand to replace one of those augers but you won't have to replace one for gosh probably seven years oh okay yeah i might get new bins by that time <laughs> right who knows right um so do, would you have something here to load them on with like 
I don't know. Would you have to hire someone or what's what the we'll deal? have to do? Um, we since we we have a uh, a kind of what would you call them? They they have rotary trucks, like the big crane trucks and everything. There's a company, oh, a kind of a massive wrecker. Yeah, the, there's much. a wrecker company uh, here ne near town that uh, we contract out to do that stuff. We uh, oh, sometimes okay. we get we get shipments of uh, semis in too uh, on occasion, not very often. But we even have to have them come and like lift those up, you know, because of how they haul them on top of each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah gotcha. we've done a lot of work with them. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I would be looking at two of these if I was gonna buy one. Okay. Or, uh, I guess two. <laughs> yeah, if you want, we can head back into the office there. I'll place an order for two. Um, I'll give you the total what that would cost, and uh, we'll figure out the paperwork from there. Alrighty. Well, let's go do that then. All right. All right, so just looking here, they are uh, MSRP ten thousand a piece. So you're looking uh, twenty thousand on that. You're not going to be doing any transport because you're going to be taking that yourself. But it will be yes. another uh, fifteen hundred to get that record company out here to help you load them up. So you're looking at uh, twenty one thousand five hundred dollars here. All right, let's do it. All right. Printing this thing off right here. All you got to do is sign there, initial there, okay. and then make sure you put the date on there. What, what's and, the date today? Um, uh, today's the uh, 6th. All right, so 6th, okay. And it is December, correct? Yep, yep, December 6th, yep, 2019. December, okay, December 6th, 2020. Yeah, no, 2019. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, Alrighty. I'll sign my end on that to say I uh, was here for the interaction. Looks good. You won't have to pay for it until they are uh, here. You, you can inspect them to make sure that they are not damaged or anything. Um, gotcha. And then you'll you'll make the payment when that happens. But uh, it's going to be uh, not too long. They actually make them near here. We'll probably be able to get them in, in the next day or two, to be honest with you. All right, yeah, that will be perfect. All right, so what I'll do is uh, I'll just give you a call or something when uh, we get those in, and uh, we'll get that all organized with the record company to help get them loaded up, and uh, and uh, I'll even help you take them down to your place if you want. Yeah, it'd be sweet. I might need a pilot truck or something. Just Yep, yeah, I'll run pilot yeah. for you. That'll work just perfect, fine for me. Bud. Perfect. All right. Um. Also, another thing you that gravel trailer you have uh the belly dump oh uh, yeah over on my uh my farm the trail king right yeah yeah um can i possibly use that for putting some gravel down at that uh pad uh yeah yeah you can borrow it that'd be sweet bud yeah it's right, over I'll, there I'll, I'll, I'll probably um, do that tomorrow okay it's over there connected up to the uh flat nose kenworth you can even use a kenworth too if you want just leave it all, all right, connected perfect. on no problem Sweet, man. All right. Uh, do All you right. know anyone that sells gravel here in bulk? Like, um, I could just pull up there and load up a trailer? <sighs> gravel in bulk. You might... Uh, oh, hang on here. Let me let me look through my catalogs. Uh, looks like Mauer Quarries. Uh, you probably can order some from them. All right. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate it, man. And I guess just... Give me a call when they're in. Yeah. All right. Will do. I'll probably end up using that dump trailer tomorrow if that's okay. Yep. Yep. Not a problem. All right. Okay. I will talk to you later. All right, man. See ya. Thanks for coming out. See ya. No problem. All right. I just got off the phone with uh, Clutch. Um, just checking up on him because he said he was going to be here about 1130. He's running a little behind. Uh, he said he's got about three more passes on his field before he's going to be heading out here, which is fine. So we're going to real quick test the uh the grain bins uh we're gonna test that the trucks are able to fit and uh drive through there easily so we're gonna take we're gonna take the first truck here and just run it through um just to make sure that everything runs smoothly let's fire up the old mac here let's put her in drive there we go and we'll just pull right around Nice thing is we've got a great big gravel yard out here specifically so we can so we can uh, turn around big machinery with these. Don't have to do that whole backup, pull forward, backup, you know, junk. 
we uh, we designed it specifically for that reason. So that is really really nice. Nice wide roads and <clears throat> wide uh, spaces to drive around out here. But all you got to do is pull right up here. You got the scale office right there. Right there. We are working on getting some scales in here uh, to put right here next to the scale offices. Um, those are, you know, we had to special order them, so they're coming in. They're they're, they're going to be here in uh, a little bit, hopefully here in the next few weeks. Uh, that's that's the hope, anyways. And the nice thing about this is uh, it's wide enough. We don't have to worry about people coming in with duels, dualies, or anything like that on their tractors. They'll be able to get into our grain system, no problem. That's a definite improvement from what we were uh, running over in uh, Iowa. It's going to really help out uh, our clients and. Uh, Ultimately, it just makes the life a whole lot easier for us. And we have way more grain storage here now. As you can see, we've got some massive bins, and we've got quite a few of them. Also, rolling around here, I was worried at first about the uh, the light poles. I was thinking maybe that was going to cause some issues for trailers to trail behind. But that worked out perfectly. Uh, not a problem at all. So this is going to work out really, really well for us. I'm actually really excited for that. We just need to get the scales in. Uh, I'll have to call the company that uh, we we ordered those from and uh, see what the ETA is on those. They said it would be possibly a week or two before we could get those in, which is unfortunate, but we're not running we're, we're, I'm not expecting to run any grain right now. It's it's springtime. Uh, we don't even have any grain in our system. So it's not like we're going to be having anyone coming to buy any grain or anything. Uh, I mean, you know, we could get people to sell, I guess. If that's the case, we're just going to have to uh, kind of work around it, and we're going to have to have them run down to the anhydrous facility and pop on that scale and then run back up here. It's going to be really annoying for them, so it's going to be really nice to be able to get those scales put in. Uh, but we got to wait on them to show up is all. But we'll, uh, we'll sit around here for a little while longer and wait for Lutch to show up, and uh, we'll talk to him about what he needed. I'm going to just run over here and do some uh, fiddling around for the time being. Need to get a skid loader for the co-op here. So I think that's actually something I'm going to do in the meantime. Uh, I'm going to try and, and go and buy one of those Bobcat uh, skid steers from that store down the road. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we have time to do that. I think we should be fine. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, if we get a call from Clutch that he's here, we'll have to run back real quick. But that's what we're going to try and do. All right. We just got everything ordered from them. They uh, got the paperwork all done. I just went and wired them the money. They already have all of our information. Trust me. We do a lot of business there already. And we're going to go and uh, pick this stuff up. Although it's getting really close to when Clutch said he would be over here. I don't know if we can squeeze it in. Oh, shoot. Okay. Game time decision. What do we do? I think we're I think we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try. We're gonna try and squeeze it in. We're gonna have to be snappy about it. We've already bought it and paid for it and everything, so that's gonna really help us out. And uh, they already have all of our stuff on file, and they said that I could sign all the papers uh, another day if I need to. So that is gonna work out well for us. So we're gonna go and get that stuff picked up real quick, and uh, then bring it right back down here to the co-op. I think it's gonna ultimately really help us out. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want to get a ramp for loading and unloading uh shipments that come in of uh pallets and you know fertilizer and things like that so i'm gonna have to do some looking for a ramp man good thing we just got through there train was coming look at that Woo. those arms they go down a little late don't they holy cow that kind of scared me All right, we're rolling into case now to pick up what we just bought. One of these bobcats. I think they actually got it moved back here to the back for us. And we're going to load it up on this Big Tex trailer I also just ordered from them. Like I said, I give these guys way too much business. <laughs> Whenever the John Deere dealer uh, comes to town, I'm sure that our business is going to primarily shift over to them. Uh, but for now, this is where we got to buy our stuff. So we're going to get hooked up to that Big Tex real quick. And got that connected, jacks lifted, safety chains, everything good to go. It's just a bumper pull, nothing too crazy. Bumper pulls aren't as uh, comfortable to haul. Um, they're a little more bouncy, not not just not as nice of a ride as uh, gooseneck, but 
it's what we were able to get today so that's what we got and i figured if it's just going to be used for you know primarily this bobcat and you know other smaller things like that it's really not much of a problem but we're going to get those ramps folded down there we go got those down and we are gonna load up our bobcat here we got two implements or two attachments for it here sitting in it fire it up there we go Woo. the uh the what you call it hydraulics work really well that's good to know good to know this thing runs like a champ <laughs> let's back up get our which one do we want to grab first here i think we'll grab the bucket and i think we'll try and put the forks in the bucket maybe i think that's what we're going to try and do so let's see if we can do that I'm gonna kind of angle that back down. Here we go. Step out. I'm gonna see if I can maybe. I don't know how heavy this is. Let me see if I can pick this up and slide it over there. Oh no. No way. That thing is way too heavy. So. Alright, I couldn't get. Uh, I couldn't get that in the bucket. So, what we're gonna do is put the bucket on the trailer here let's line up to the ramps there we go Ooh, she's sliding a little bit and we're gonna drop the bucket off and then we're gonna grab the forks that's what we're gonna have to do it's all right though not a problem all right got that detached let's back off the trailer now Oof, going a little fast jake let's go get the uh pallet fork now and let's just attach to the pallet fork perfect got that quick attach on there we don't need to lock it in because we're going to be just driving it right up here there we go nice and easy try and leave the bobcat on the uh, rear as much as possible lower that back down perfect shut it off let's see if we can strap this baby down There we go. I think we're all strapped up. Put up them ramps and uh, let's drive this bad boy back over to uh, the co-op now. You have to watch that bucket. I don't think we got that bucket strapped down too well. All right, we're rolling into town. We're going to take this right turn nice and easy. There's a car coming. Try not to... Uh swing into this other lane too much but i'm gonna have to because we got this trailer there we go and uh just right down here to the co-op we go and we got our new bobcat so that's gonna be a really nice addition it's gonna really help us out for loading uh loading up pallets and everything like that so i think it's gonna be very useful for the co-op it's gonna be something that's definitely worth having and all we gotta do is cross the train track hopefully there's not a train coming this time it scared me so much last time pull into the co-op and we are good to get this unloaded then oh you know what i think that is gonna be clutch right there isn't it i saw him coming down the road i didn't realize it was him i thought it was like a ups truck not gonna lie <laughs> that's interesting i think we'll just kind of uh pull this off up or right over here for now park it right here and we'll get that unloaded here in a little bit but i think that's clutch pulling in oh i left my lights on there we go got those turned off yep that's clutch right there let's see what we can do for him looks like he brought a trailer to fill up with maybe lime i think that might be what he's planning to do hey jake what's going on man hey man not so much but what about you Oh, I am, uh, well, I'm hunting for some supplies, and, uh, man, I, I, you told me about this place. I didn't think you'd have it all set up already. This is looking fantastic down here. This is cool. Yeah, we're pretty much set up, just moving in some final equipment, as you see, but uh, pretty much ready to go. Oh, nice. You just picked up a bobcat. Yep. That's cool. What you got planned for this thing? It's going to be used for loading pallets and uh, fertilizer tanks, things like that, moving stuff around the yard nice that's great um what all exactly are you gonna be uh be supplying down here i mean i know we talked about get, i just need to get some lime mm -hmm. but uh what else what other things can i expect to be able to pick up from you we offer all kinds of services uh all your farm uh, material needs any fertilizers any feeds 
anything like that. We also have, uh, we're contracted through some uh, manufacturers as an authorized dealer of some more obscure stuff like bins, things like that. Um, oh, nice. We offer a lot of services, you know, we'll do your soil con conservation plan and we'll help you with all your ag plan. And I mean, if you, ever, if you haven't ever checked out our website, give that a look and it kind of explains most of what we do here. Oh, cool. I'll have to definitely check that out. I have not checked that out before. I will definitely have to do that. That's great. Um, but like I said, I just need to get some lime for today. Um, okay. You, I'm assuming you've got some stuff available, eh? Yep. Yeah, I've got a full uh, supply of lime right over here. Uh, it's going to be in one of these white bins for you, oh, actually. Let Excellent. I think... Right. Yep, the one down here on the very end. Excellent. All right. Well, um, I guess I'll just pull around and we'll uh, we'll get this thing filled up. And, All right. Uh, yeah, we'll figure out what I owe you for that. All right, sounds like a plan. All right, Clutch is going to pull around the back of our, like, kind of used lot there. He's going to pull up to this lime uh, lime silo, and we're going to get him loaded up here. So, yep, just pull right around here, boss. There you go. He's figuring it out. He's just trying to see which way was the best way. He might, he could have gone all the way back and around. That might have been a little easier for him. We'll step out of his way here. Yep, you're good. He's good. Clearing it. Perfect. Now we just got to get lined up. It's a little difficult with uh, with this, but... So, Jake, what was this place beforehand? Because you just took this over recently, right? Yeah, so this was originally uh, a fertilizer supply company. Um, and it was... When I when I uh, bought this place, their main building was up there towards the road. They, that got torn down, and then they had all their supplies back here in the back. Um, that's okay. what, like those old buildings are remnants of the uh, previous company that was here. We built the, you know, the bin set up, the other shed over there and these two sheds right here. Excellent. Well, it looks, it looks fantastic. It's a, it's a great little spot. You're right on the tracks here, right at the south end of town. That's uh, mm -hmm. pretty cool. It's a great little spot. I'm, uh, I'm glad to see you here. Yeah. It's a perfect spot for a co-op right here. It's right next to tractor supply too. So it's just a, you know, if anyone comes in for parts and they might think, oh, you know what, My, while I'm here. <laughs> yeah, no might, as well, <laughs> might as well stop at the co-op right that's great all right well uh let's get this thing filled up i guess so i can i got a bunch of more lime to do today hopefully get this my i got a section of uh a section of land i want to get lime before the end of uh, the day today and if i don't get it done now it's it's not going to get done so <laughs> all right i'll get the hose hooked up and flung into the top end of your trailer and we'll get you loaded up awesome all right just grab this hose there we go. He's filling up. Looks like it's filling. Yeah, it looks like we're all good there. She's going up. Oh, just climb to the, onto the deck here. Yeah, we're definitely getting some in there. Perfect. Awesome. Fill her up as much as you want. Just let me know, and I'll pull the cutoff switch over here. Sounds good. We're going to go right to the right to the brim. I'm going to need it all. All righty. All right, we got you cut off there. You say she's full? She is right up to the top. Yep, looks good. All How right. Much do we use? Yeah, it is 43 tons, my friend. Oh, wow. Ouch. <laughs> That's a lot more. That's that a lot is, time. honestly, trailer, but... <laughs> you've drained this silo down probably about about more than halfway. We're probably only a fourth full now. <laughs> awesome. All right. Perfect. Uh, do you want me to meet up, meet up in the office and uh, we'll get this, uh, this settled up then? Yep. All right. So we'll just do this on paper for now and I'll file it into the computer later. But we got 43 tons at you here and that comes to a uh, grand total of all right that is twenty two thousand dollars excellent all right well that's uh, that's a lot of cash for some lime but <laughs> you know what that's what has to happen when you're set up the farm i suppose yeah i, well, I mean silo i got back there works it's, a, it's an old silo i heard, sure hope it works properly you've got you know if you put your spreader on a low spread rate you've got lime to last you for the next couple years probably <laughs> I sure hope so. I sure I mean, hope so after that. Yeah, I don't know how much land you farm, but I would take a guess that you got plenty. Perfect. Well, hopefully, I, I hope you're right. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this turns out. But I mean, all the this is an old farm. This the all these fields need to be lined right off the bat here. So, right. Anyways, thanks a lot for uh, for your help. I'm gonna be back here probably pretty soon. I'm gonna need some seed and stuff as well at some point here. So I'll be chatting with you soon, bud. All right. Yeah. Just give us a call, and we'll make sure someone's here to greet you. Sounds good. You have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. All right. See ya. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this roleplay here on the Nebraska land server, let me know by hitting that like button. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. I appreciate it so much. And until next time, 
I'll see y'all later. <laughs>